You've been working on this for a long time. It is a classic. Congratulations. Thank you. How exciting is it now to finally get a chance to put this into the world so everybody can enjoy? This is such an exciting moment for us because, you know, at the end of the day, everything you do making a movie is, is working towards something. You're on this journey because there's a destination and the destination for us is, is here, Toronto, uh, letting the world see this movie, everything that we worked so hard on. And so to be here uh, is, is definitely really, really exciting. Yeah, it's an honor and opening the festival. <laughs> and you guys look like you had a great time doing this. You get to shoot the place up, you're blowing up things. What was the biggest hurdle you had to clear to make it look so authentic? For me, the horses, I had to, I had to work pretty hard at it. Uh, I had very little experience riding horses and, and, um, all, and the little experience I did have wasn't positive. Like I'd been thrown off and embarrassed <laughs> several times. Once had to be saved by a girlfriend. That was pretty awesome. My feet were up in the air, like up above my, yeah, I was yeah. bouncing my head off the ass door, <laughs> holding the back of the reins and it's taking off about to throw me on some rocks. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And she oh, ran up wow. and like got the horse and saved me. I'm like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I had a long way to go. And that for me, was the biggest hurdle. How about you? What was the biggest hurdle? Uh, I think the, to stand the heat of Louisiana. And, 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 and the guns too. I had, I had experience riding horses, not so much with the guns. So maybe that, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, he, he killed it with those guns. I don't know if you saw him spin oh, those guns in that oh, gunfight. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't do that before the movie. So he was yeah. working every single day, probably 10 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. Very sexy, very sexy. It ladies, is. ladies love that yeah. stuff. Chris, your character, man's man, ladies man, man about town, who brings his A game when needed. How would you describe your guy? Josh Faraday's a gambler, and he's got a dark side, he's dangerous, he's the kind of guy you don't want to cross. He sees a lone black man, cowboy, walking into a room, and he's a gambler. He's like, you know what? I know where I'm gonna put my chips. Made a big splash, guarding the galaxy. Now you're defending the wild, wild west. Yes. Similar, different, what's the experience like? There are certain similarities. Um, James Gunn's a huge fan of westerns, and he's a director of Guardians of the Galaxy, writer director, and he's a big fan of westerns. And, and I think you know it's similar. It's like a group of misfits or a, a ragtag squad of people coming together for a common good, and through the course of it, developing relationships in a family. So in that way, there is similarities between uh, these stories, and it's it's a timeless tale. You you see it a lot. This happens to be in the western genre, and uh, also a cool contemporary new. Uh, new look at, at what that is.